So in this series, we'll be talking about another important substantive right investors of qualifying investments have under bilateral investment treaties um, or other treaties, including domestic legislation, and that is the so-called FET standard or fair and equitable treatment standard. So from an FET perspective, there's not really a general definition under international law what FET or fair and equitable treatment means, but uh, colloquially, it has developed over a number of years through decisions by investment tribunals in terms of what does it actually entail. Uh, generally, um, from a minimum standard perspective, it's, it's deemed that it's to some extent part of custom international law. Other tribunals have different views saying you can't really look at custom international law, you have to look at what is provided for specifically in a particular treaty in terms of the protection provided and the particular circumstances. Now, what the tribunals have um, held, what FET ultimately means, it's a wide concept. So in some instances, it would be the investor's legitimate expectation in a particular jurisdiction in respect of its investment, the expectation of the investor to be treated on a fair basis in the sense that there should not be harassment of an investor or coercion in respect of its investment or whatever particular business enterprise it's conducting within that jurisdiction, or not to be denied the right to justice or denial of justice, as we would call it. So when we talk about the first one, there's a number of others that I can talk about, but the most important one that we usually get under uh, FET is the legitimate expectation, essentially where an investor, based on certain assurances that a government has given, uh, decided to invest in a particular jurisdiction. So the government has said that we say it's a, uh, we would not expropriate you or we would give you certain concessions or incentives when you invest in our country. And once the investor now invests and a few years passes, the government decides to withdraw those incentives or certain um, assurances provided. So in those instances, an uh, investor could most probably say that there was based on the guarantees or assurances you provided me, I had the legitimate expectation that for the duration of my investment in your country, you would not change that uh, particular either legal regime or guarantees you've provided for. So those are essentially from a legitimate expectation perspective, what was also obviously distinguish that from a stabilization provision. A leg legitimate expectation under FET is not a stabilization provision. Um, so it doesn't provide for stabilization of a regulatory regime. The government or the sovereign still has the right within certain restrictions uh, based on the assurances it provided the investor to um, enact certain laws, to change the laws, taking into account change in society and circumstances. It's also not a guarantee against uh, business risk. Ultimately, once an when an investor makes an investment decision, it needs to ensure that a proper due diligence is done in respect of the investment, in respect of the country, in respect of the domestic legislation applicable to the particular jurisdiction. So it can't argue later on once there's a dispute with the government that it didn't do certain um, due diligence exercises to ensure that whatever investment it opportunities it undertakes in that jurisdiction are then impaired by the government. So uh, this series essentially just on a very broad level provides for an overview of what FET is. FET is a very broad concept um, and obviously this video will not do it justice in explaining every single segment and element of FET.